coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds, fighting out of Ludlow, Massachusetts, Monster. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, give the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. Triple header, and it was the Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Young Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. It looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the king. Single collar tie now. Lee's got the tie clinched. Let's see what he can do with it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh. 
Superman punch now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Over and over, he's landing a big body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right where he wants to be in the clinch. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. Just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. He is all about that left kick to the body. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh, clearly using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice block there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent ready. A sigh of relief. I was trying to guillotine. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, second round is right. underway. Your thoughts yeah. on what we saw over the first fight? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. That punch, no good. Oh, huge block! If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Let's 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's back to his spot, clinch position. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him, no, no when to hold, hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, watch the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Kick to the body by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. He blocks the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with the big right hand. A oh, little single collar tie there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Straight right is there. And he landed the right hand there. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty elbow. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Ten minutes in the books. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you got to think at some point the doctor's going to get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is going to be stopped. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure 
they can keep this up. Go, guys, if they fight. land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Misses with that punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Spinning back fist. Nice punch, man. Circling towards the left now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. Lee's shot is blocked. Plans the right hand. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take down. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Side control now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now to fire the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Just reached the midway point of the fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's really showing. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow land in the clinch. The right hook to the body. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Blocks the shot. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Great punch, man. So much power. Body kick now by Lee. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, collar tie. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Here he is back in the clinch. Boy, Ty Plunk. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Just misses. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee gets the tie clinch here. 20 seconds left. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here though not to gas out. 
big punch lands through the middle. Great right, number six. Wait, 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 wait. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. What a punch. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai Club. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Good punch, Lance. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell it. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, down. he might be out. Just over three minutes to go. Nice moving punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Right left combo by Lee. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his Whoa! body. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, uh, he might be out. Superman punch lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Takedown defense holds up. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got to beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right hand punch the clinch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big right hand, yes. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, and this might just be a matter of time. There it is, 
so he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.